Good morning, I'm Sean Hardin and I'm a realtor here at Texas Open Door Realty downtown Round Rock. And I have the privilege this morning of interviewing a longtime friend of mine and mortgage lender here, Tom Brown. And Tom, you're with Guaranteed Rate Mortgage, right? That's, that's right, that's right. Absolutely, Tom, I was, as I was thinking about this, uh, you know, you and I met probably early 2000. Yep. And of course, at that time, I just probably had turned 20 and you may have been mid thirties at that time. <laughs> I don't know if I was that old, but yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. okay. All right, well anyway, uh, 18 years or yeah, 19 yeah. years now That's that we've correct. known each other. Um, you know, and, and I think one of the things I wanted just to emphasize is not only have you just been a friend, but um, you know, you've taught me a lot about the mortgage industry, mortgage loans, um, and I appreciate that. And uh, this morning I was hoping that not only you would just tell our audience really, you know, what brought you here uh, to the area, but you know, just your love and passion for what you do and, okay. and uh, a little bit, you know, more details about the mortgage industry and the yeah. type of loans yeah. you offer and all that kind of good stuff. Sure. Yeah. So, uh, w you know, with that said, we'll, we'll jump right into it. Okay. Um, first, right off the bat, you know, what brought you and, and your wife Mindy to the Central Texas area? Specifically Round Rock. Well, that's uh, real easy. I, I met a, uh, a young lady named Mindy Carpenter uh, in uh, 1981, summer of 1981, Virginia Beach, Virginia. Uh, my wife and I were on a mission project and uh, from different campuses all over the United States, uh, met up in Virginia Beach. And I met her and quickly fell in love with her. And uh, so she was from Austin. Okay, okay. Uh, and uh, we decided to, uh, to give Austin a try. And, uh, and then we moved back to uh, to Baton Rouge, where I'm from, for about four years. That, what made us move to Round Rock was uh, the school system in, in Louisiana is not as great as it is here in Central Texas. And so we decided to make a move uh, to Round Rock specifically. I got you. So how many years now have you been in Round Rock? Uh, this is going to be the 30th year. 30 years. Wow. So... So obviously you've seen a little bit of growth uh, uh, in this area. Yeah, um, just a little bit. <laughs> you know, uh, if you could say, you know, characterize, what do you love most about, you know, Round Rock and Central Texas? Wow, that's uh, that's really easy. My kids, uh, you know, I'm kind of a sports fiend. Okay. Uh, love love baseball, love football, love basketball, and uh, as you know that, I mean, we've uh, talked about our respective colleges, but. Uh, just getting the kids involved with local sports and, and uh, what I love really specifically is, is the schools. I mean, we, we moved here for yeah for that specifically. But I uh, love the sports scene here in Round Rock. Everybody loves sports in Round Rock. Well, just, you know, that and I guess being the outdoors and I, I know you and Mindy like to go hiking, right? Take we do. Dog love and, to hike. And, love um, and so obviously, you know, you can do that. And I, I was just telling some clients yesterday about the... Uh, the hike and bike trail here in Round Rock. Right, and right. Yeah, I now, use that constantly. Yeah, pretty much, you know, eventually, I don't know if you can just yet, but it's going to connect, you know, north and south, uh, or excuse me, east and west of Round Rock yeah. across 35, and so that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's very cool. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, awesome. Well, uh, you know, we talked about you being a mortgage lender, and I know that, you know, at one time, you had your own business doing that. I know you've worked for others doing it. Um, how would you describe, you know, I guess what you do and and and, and what you have to offer? Okay. Um, well, basically, I consider myself to use the sports uh, word uh, as a somewhat of a coach. Um, when when a buyer comes to me, uh, they don't usually know uh, what uh, programs are available, what uh, how much they have to put down. For example, most people think it takes twenty percent oh, to buy a house. Yeah, twenty yeah, percent down and. And that's obviously not the case. Uh, you can get uh, houses for as little as zero down with down payment assistance. So uh, a coach, uh, really a nurturer, someone who uh, uh, is knowledgeable about um, the business, been in it now for 25 years. So uh, I think I offer a little bit of uh, wisdom and knowledge uh, yeah. to the industry. So really it's, you know, a lot of it's, you know, taking a customer in their unique circumstance and situation and, right. and you know, uh, and then, of course, you know, that determines what, you know, what they're going to be able to put down, what type of loan uh, meets their needs. And I know one of the things that, um, that uh, you've corrected me on is that you do offer or work with VA loans. I do. I and, do. Right. 
uh, that's, uh, you know, I have to remind realtors a lot that, uh, that you know, we, we tend to get characterized as someone who only does conventional loans. And uh, as a matter of fact, uh, this is, you know, I have to let people know my wife is a designated VA underwriter. So, okay. uh, which, which lends to uh, what sets us apart. And, you know, right. So. Gives you a background knowledge. Yeah. And, and I, you know, and hitting on what you said about uh, people thinking that they have to put 20% down. Right. Uh, I'll use my son, uh, my oldest son is, is 25 years old and, and, and he's going to be looking at buying a house this year and he's like, wow, you know, I have to have 20% down to do it. Yeah. And I was like, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. I said, I guess I haven't taught you enough yet. <laughs> um, but no, you don't have to do that. And there are so many loan opportunities, um, you know, and, and did you want to talk a little bit about, uh, you know, really kind of the the difference or the, or the different lending institutions that you work with? Yeah, sure. Okay. Kind of just if you could give us a brief. Yeah. Some of you uh, may have heard the term mortgage broker. Um, that was a term that was used a lot in the, in the early 90s. And, and simply what that means is that um, as a lender, we would sell our loans typically to the major banks, Chase, Wells Fargo, Bank of America. Um, today, it's more a... Uh, a world of mortgage banking, which really simply means that we do the same thing, but we actually fund the loans in our own name. And so we, we will search uh, the larger uh, wholesale lenders for the best rates for our customers, for the best programs that fit their needs. And we, uh, as, a, as a mortgage banker, are, have a relationship with over 30 conforming lenders. Um, and conforming meaning that it's not a jumbo loan or not a government loan so uh, but we have we have a relationship with uh, several investors to be able to meet our customers needs okay okay and I know you know I've, I've had clients that, that I've brought to you and, and, and at, at times one of their concerns is is hey will my loan be sold off you know well right. um, and can you comment on that yeah it, when I first meet with them I mean I typically we'll discuss that um, loans can be sold we actually also service some of our loans uh, it's all about whether they want uh, a specific rate or uh, they're more concerned about their loan being held by the same lender. Uh, Chase, for example, might one day have a lower wholesale rate than, say, another investor. Uh, and so I will bring that up with the client and let right. them know that, hey, you know, it all depends on is this more important? Is the rate more important or is you having the same servicer for a long time? But Right. No, no investors guarantee that they're going to hang okay. on to that loan for. Yeah, forever. and I think that's probably the key right there is that nobody can really guarantee that. But um, you know, we you talked about you hit on hey you've been in the business for twenty five years. Right. We talked about your wife uh, was previously previously an underwriter. Still is. Yeah. Still is an underwriter, and, and just the you know just the background knowledge that that gives you. Um, is there anything else that you feel like really separates you from the competition? Because, uh, you know, just like realtors, you know, I think there's 14,000 real estate agents yep, in yep, Austin, yep. Texas. I, I know there's a ton of lenders. There are. There are yeah. and, and so, you know, what do you feel like is kind of your calling card to really separate you if you could pinpoint a couple of things from, from okay. everybody else? Well, clearly 25 years uh, in the industry is, is a big part of it. But, yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I literally was raised in the business uh, by an underwriter. Uh, my wife is, she actually underwrites for guaranteed rate as well. Um, but we started in the business uh, back in about 95 or 94 is when we started, but 95, she and I opened up our own company. Uh, my calling card, I would say, is that I stay on top of, of regulations. Um, I stay on top of the knowledge of each program. But the one thing that, that I think, and, and it sounds very simple is that uh, I answer my phone. It doesn't yeah. matter where I am. It doesn't matter what I'm doing. You experienced that on Sunday. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I was out on a hike with uh, my wife and my dog, and uh, I saw the phone ring, and I told my wife, I said, hey, this is Sean Hart. I got to take this yeah, call. Yeah, you better get it. <laughs> I got to take this call. Right, yeah. uh, so, you know, a lot of people say they answer their calls. You can call me anytime, but you really can. Uh, I answer the phone on Saturday, Sunday evenings doesn't matter i responded to a uh, gentleman last night at 11 o'clock all right so, uh, all right. not that i want to do that on a regular basis just but finishing up the game and yeah yeah, yeah. was finishing up the game and <laughs> yeah. i saw i saw a call so i just texted him back so yeah. absolutely that's awesome well kind of you know i appreciate you sharing you know just briefly kind of about you and what you do in the, in the mortgage business yeah. um 
if I could ask you, you know, and I, I know this is a million dollar question and, and you don't have the necessarily a crystal ball, but you know, what do you see mortgage rates doing? I know they kind of went up as the Fed has raised interest rates. Right. Now we kind of dipped a little bit. We did. Um, uh, here in the last week or two. And what do you see really happening in 2019? Uh, well, that's a great question. Um, you know, <laughs> the crystal ball statement is, is fairly accurate. I don't have one. Um, if we were to go by what the experts would say, clearly we would think that the rates are going to continue to rise. Uh, the experts were wrong uh, towards the end of this year, so it really leads us to believe that uh, no one really knows. Uh, right. I, I definitely think that it's going to be a strong year, strong market, a uh, good time to, to buy real estate. The rates are going to stay, I think, in an attractive range that uh, people will want to take advantage of, of buying a home this year. Absolutely. And I think, you know, I, I was in some training recently. Uh, analysts are talking about that they think nationwide that home sales may be relatively flat to last year, which is kind of interesting because I feel like in this area, in Central Texas, we've been a little bit immune to what the national average right. is. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, you know, businesses continue to move here. People are relocating here. Um, and so that seems to make us a pretty robust market. Um, you know, with that said, I, I, you know, I encourage you, if you're moving here, you're thinking about moving here, not only do I want you to call me as, as your realtor, but I also would like for you to call Tom as, as uh, you know, your mortgage lender, uh, you know, as well. And, and, and Tom, as we kind of wrap this up, you know, as people are moving here and, and you've been in this area for going on 30 years, you said, what, um, what is maybe the most important thing or the one thing you would like to tell people, hey, you need to do this when you move here? Right. Well, so number one, obviously do your research. Uh, uh, Round Rock is a wonderful place to live. Central Texas in general is probably the best place in the nation as far as I'm concerned. And I'm a, I'm a, uh, an absolute Cajun at heart. I pull for LSU Tigers, but well, right I, here, we don't hold that against him though here in Texas. So, <laughs> right. you know, it's, it, we, we do give him a, a yeah. little pass on that. I, I did marry a Longhorn though. And, okay. and so I have become a Texas Longhorn through and through, uh, unless they play LSU. But, uh, to get to the point, uh, do your research on schools, do your research on, uh, the neighborhoods. And the only way to really do that is to contact a realtor like Sean. Uh, and uh, and definitely get pre-qualified. Pre-approved would be even better, and we have a, a quick, fast approval process where we can have you approved in a day or two, uh, totally approved, subject to uh, property appraisal, and you find in a property, so. Yeah, and I think you hit on something that's really a, a, a important point is that, you know, everybody wants to jump in the car and go look at houses right. and, and um, you know, you find something you love, and if you're not pre-approved already or qualified, you know, we've, we may have just wasted all of our collective time. Right. right. Um, and, and, and when we want to submit an offer, uh, the selling agent, the first thing they're going to ask me with that offer is, is, hey, do you have their qualification letter right. uh, with that? So, you know, keep that in mind. And, and what, how would, if somebody wants to get in touch with Tom Brown, how do they do it? Where's the, give me your website or. Yeah, sure. Uh, there's few ways. Uh, the best way, obviously, as I've mentioned already, is I, I do answer the phone, 512-497-9505. Uh, Text or call. Uh, as a matter of fact, I have an app that I can forward you right away that you can get uh, pre-approved directly from your phone. Uh, my website is uh, www.rate.com okay. slash Tom Brown. And then email is tom.brown at rate.com. Uh, awesome. The phone is always the best, though. Awesome. And, and likewise, you know, uh, if for some reason you couldn't get hold of Tom, you can always reach me as well. And I can, I can put you through to Tom, but you can reach me either at 512-799-2725 or Sean at Texas spelled out open door.com. And you can also, my website is just www.sean, S E A N H A R D E N.com. But uh, thank you for your time this morning, Thanks Tom. Thank Appreciate you. you coming in, and uh, good luck in 2019.